In the past year, the Chinese Navy has maintained a strong dumpling mode of shipbuilding, receiving a total of 200,000 tons of various ships. In contrast the former maritime hegemon of the United Kingdom currently has a total tonnage of only 430,000 tons. Therefore, many media in other countries continue to speculate on the scale of the Chinese Navy in the future. The US Congressional Report once stated that China will have three aircraft carriers and nine amphibious assault ships in 2025. And more on other ships. Just now, China's 100,000-ton nuclear aircraft carrier was exposed, and the US military finally admitted that China is powerful, and Japan and South Korea were completely dumbfounded. China is building more modern surface combatants and expanding its aircraft carrier and logistics force to grow its naval influence further from shore. In a newly built dry dock on China's Changxing Island shipbuilding base outside Shanghai, the world's largest amphibious assault ship has sprung from nothing to an imposing hull that experts say might launch as soon as 2025. If that assessment derived from satellite photos proves correct, the construction of China's first 076-class assault ship dubbed the Yunnan class will be yet another reminder of the breakneck speed of Beijing's military buildup. It is bringing one of the world's largest warships into existence in less time than it currently takes US or European shipyards to refit a much smaller aging frigate or destroyer. Constructed in 2005, the Changsheng Island shipbuilding base owned by the government-run China State Shipbuilding Corporation has been a hugely ambitious effort and is now in a third stage of expansion that has also seen it build China's third aircraft carrier the Fukien between 2015 and 2022. That ship began its sea trials in May, but the speed with which the shipyard is now turning around landing vessels represents a dramatic uptick in warship construction. Commercial satellite photos indicate that the dry dock in which the new 076 class is being built only opened in October, as part of what appeared to be a dramatic new expansion of the port facilities. They turn out both military and civilian vessels at a speed that now worries Beijing's potential adversaries and rivals, particularly the United States and could give it a ready edge in any conflict. Like the America class, the new 076 looks to be capable of carrying troops and landing craft as well as drones and combat jets. It would be able to flood the inside of its hull to launch an amphibious assault, while potentially also conducting air operations with catapults and helicopters. Since 2019, China has launched four such vessels of the slightly smaller 075 class, with two declared ready for combat over the last year and another four said to be on order. That output rate is beginning to alarm US counterparts. In raw tonnage when it comes to warships, the US Navy remains considerably larger than its Chinese counterpart. In total, the US retains almost 3 million metric tons of warships of 1,000 tons or more, compared to barely a third of that for China. That includes 10 nuclear aircraft carriers and their battle groups, all bigger and more powerful than China's three carriers so far. Only Beijing's fourth carrier, still under construction, is expected to be nuclear-powered, giving it much greater endurance. One recent unclassified slide released by US Naval Intelligence estimated that China's total shipbuilding capacity was now more than 632 times that of the US. US officials warn that Beijing can call on dozens of shipyards larger and more effective than the notoriously troubled Huntingdon Ingalls facility in Newport News, Virginia, the largest US military shipyard. When it comes to warships, Beijing is now outbuilding the US to a remarkable degree. At present, the second domestic aircraft carrier Type 003 has been basically formed at Jiangnan Shipyard and will be launched soon. The island of this aircraft carrier is further reduced and adopts electromagnetic ejection and straight-through deck, which undoubtedly provides the basis for medium-sized stealth fighters and fixed-wing carrier-based early warning aircraft such as the Falcon. At the same time, the ship also marks that the development of Chinese aircraft carriers will embark on the road of truly advanced technology thus completely getting rid of the Russian style of previous Chinese aircraft carriers. According to the needs of China's maritime strategy, technology accumulation and other aspects, Type 003 is likely to have a sister ship that has been greatly improved and upgraded in internal technology in the near future. At that time, 
The Chinese Navy with four aircraft carriers will not only have a sudden increase in confidence when dealing with strategic challenges in multiple directions, but also the aircraft carrier shift system can be truly implemented. The next generation supply ship with a larger tonnage may also appear in the new battle group with two 003-class ships. According to the future expansion scale of the hypothetical opponent, the four aircraft carriers may not be able to meet all the needs, and China obviously lacks overseas bases, so nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are still of great significance to China. Back then, the US military used the technological accumulation of the USS Enterprise nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and the conventional powered aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk class. And finally derived the Nimitz class that is unmatched in both quantity and quality, and thus developed the Ford class with cross-generation technology. Just now, China's 100,000-ton nuclear aircraft carrier was exposed, and the US military finally admitted that China is powerful, and Japan and South Korea were completely dumbfounded. As many people know, China is the second largest country in the world after the United States, and its comprehensive strength ranks second in the world. Recently, the pictures of the aircraft carrier with hull number 20 that circulated on the internet almost confirmed this. What is more exciting is that considering that China already has the Liaoning hull number 16. The second aircraft carrier Shandong hull number 17 and the Fukien hull number 18, we can reasonably guess that the aircraft carrier with hull number 19 is also in the planning. This means that the aircraft carrier with hull number the 20th of May become China's fifth aircraft carrier. According to the phased goals of the Chinese Navy, the first phase of the large-scale shipbuilding plan from 2012 to 2021 has been successfully completed, thus ending the so-called small step fast-running mode verification completion period. Taking 2022 as a new node, it is the stage of mass production of quasi-transgenerational or next-generation ships. According to China's future strategy and the development of imaginary opponents, this stage will be maintained until around 2035 to 2040.